All right, so who are you? Are you other? Or are you freshmen? Or are I'm you? rising in high school, so. Yes. You're a parent, a rising senior, junior, sophomore, other. Got a lot of others. Rising senior, con congratulations on making it to your senior year. That is very exciting. Class of 2021. Ooh. Very cool. All right, we had fun with our polls. Um, let's get started. So you have registered obviously for this, so you know a little bit about it, but I'm gonna explain it um, a little bit more in detail. So Johnson is doing this uh, series that we're calling the Explore Series where we're going to do exactly what it says. We're going to explore Johnson University. Um, when you're picking a college and when you're thinking about college, you're typically, you know, you're looking at all the aspects. So that's what we're trying to do is each week, every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern for the next 13 weeks, we're going to look at a different aspect of Johnson. We're going to run through all the different um, degree programs that you can be a part of. We're going to run through dining options, uh, dorm life, what it's like to be a student, and a bunch of other fun um, aspects about Johnson. So we'll have special guests along the way, uh, whether it's professors or um, key people on campus that you would be able to meet and uh, they can tell you about their area. So that way you can make a well-informed decision and know who Johnson is. Um, so uh that's an easy way to transition to who is johnson so you may be watching this and you have never really heard of us or you've only kind of heard of us you've maybe visited us a lot you've maybe never been on campus before so we're going to go over um a little bit about who we are as johnson university and i'm going to let lauren shears introduce herself and do that yeah so my name is lauren shears um i am the director of undergraduate admissions at Johnson University, Tennessee. So um, I'm just super excited to get to share um, with you all about who Johnson is and what we have to offer for you um, and for the kingdom of God. Uh, so this is gonna be a really, really brief overview of Johnson. I just have four slides to show you all. So I'm gonna share my screen and show you this PowerPoint and just sort of go over. Now this Explore series here will focus on Johnson University, Tennessee. Um, there you go. Let me put this in presentation mode. Oop, I don't want to edit this. I want to look presented. Perfect. There it is. Um, so this presentation here will focus on Johnson University, Tennessee. Johnson Uni University. University has more campuses than just Tennessee. Um, we have a campus in Kissimmee, Florida, online programs, um, residency programs at churches in different states. And then we have our Tennessee campus in Knoxville, Tennessee. And that is what this brief presentation will focus on. We were founded in 1893 by Ashley and Emma Johnson with the purpose of um, educating students in Christian ministries and other strategic vocations, all framed by the Great Commission in order to extend the kingdom of God among all nations. So at the heart of every single thing we do at Johnson University is extending God's kingdom. And that is what, um, we care about most. And so I hope that as you listen to my brief presentation and get to hear from some of our students, you will get to see how um, that plays out in the life of our community. This is very briefly um, our tuition and fees for fall, 20, fall 2021. I know it's important for everyone to consider cost um, and financial aid as you think about where to go to school. So our cost per year um, for fall 2020-2021 is $25,374. And this is for um, someone who lives on campus and studies full time. Um, so it includes tuition and fees and room and board. Um, this is one of the cheapest private colleges in the state of Tennessee, we are well above, well below the national average for the cost of tuition for private colleges. So we focus a lot on keeping Johnson University affordable for everyone, but I know that number is still a really big number. So we have a lot of financial aid op opportunities to help 
make Johnson something that is doable for you. We award over $2.3 million every year just in Johnson University institutional aid, so scholarships that you can get from Johnson University. We also accept federal aid um, and state aid. So things like the Pell Grant, the HOPE Scholarship, the Promise Scholarship so you, that you might have heard of, we accept those as well. So 88% of students who attend Johnson receive some kind of aid, which means they're getting some kind of scholarship, some kind of grant that helps bring the cost of attending Johnson even lower for them. In addition to these things, we have outside outside scholarships. So a lot of our students get scholarships from their churches or other organizations. And then we have a work study program where students can work for Johnson University while they are students um, and get additional aid that way. We offer over 70 majors and programs here at Johnson, all the way from certificates to associate degrees, which are two-year degrees, four-year degrees, bachelor's degrees, all the way up to doctorate programs. So I'm not going to go through every single major that we have now, but on the screen here, you could see categories of degrees that we have, and I'll point out a few. So we have um, majors in business, which is our fastest growing school. We have lots of different students who study business, some you know, focus on marketing, some focus on management, sport management, there's a lot of options. Um, in communication, we have what some, one of our newest majors is visual media production and design. So that's a major that includes graphic arts um, and other visual arts mediums. That is the Bachelor of Fine Arts. It's our first Bachelor of Fine Arts degree. In human services, we have psychology programs, and we also have a new pre-nursing program where students can um, start at Johnson University and get their associate degree in health sciences and then continue to um, be a part of the Johnson community while finishing their nursing degree um, through our partnership with Tennessee Wesleyan University um, in four years. So it's still a four-year um, nursing degree. We have church leadership majors, cross-cultural engagement ma majors, and humanities majors like English and history and that kind of thing. So like I said, I'm not mentioning them all. So if you have a question about a specific major or something you're interested in, let us know or drop a comment and I will be happy to tell you more about that program. We have a beautiful campus. It's over 300 acres nestled in the foothills of the Smoky Mountains, um, kind of in between Knoxville and Sevierville. So that is an overview of our campus. It is gorgeous. We have a new athletic and recreation complex with a 10 lane swimming pool, new workout rooms, um, new gyms. We have a cafeteria and um, a lot of other dining options on well, including coffee shops. And we have excellent dorms that are ranked um, at least number ninth in the nations, so we've been ranked higher and lower, but, but they're always nationally ranked. Um, they have rooms with individual bathrooms, so the only person you have to share a bathroom with is your roommate. They have individual heating and air conditioning controls, and they have movable and stackable furniture. So that's another great aspect of Johnson. And again, in this Explore series, we'll be going into all of these different things in detail. So um, if you are interested in you know looking at the dorms more or looking at our dining options more you know come back next week or the week after that we'll have a more in-depth discussion of those things as well and then the last thing i'm going to mention is our community life um, johnson university tennessee has about 750 undergraduate resident students um, which means that community is essential to who we are. You know, your professors will know your name. We're big enough to have a very vibrant campus life and lots of things going on and events and clubs and student organizations, but we're small enough that you get to know people. Um, and so we're going to talk about that with our students a lot today. They'll tell you about some of these student organizations that they're involved with on campus. You know, maybe student government or our missions organization. There's so many different options and they'll tell you about those. We have athletics at Johnson University. Um, so they can tell you about, you know, the sports that we have and, you know, how you can, if you're interested in playing a sport, how you can get involved in that. And then what it's like just to, you know, support the Royals basketball games um, and things like that. We have intramural sports too, where students who aren't varsity athletes can still play volleyball with their friends or basketball with their friends against other students. And then we have chapel and our chapel meets three times a week. Twice is our corporate chapel, which means the whole campus community comes together to sing and worship and hear um, the word of God spoken to them. And then on Wednesdays, we have small group chapels where students meet in smaller groups and they meet on a variety of subjects. But chapel is another thing that's central to our student life. 
Um, but I don't think I'm the best person to tell you about what our student life is like. I think we have students who can speak into that more. So um, at this time, Ryan will introduce our student panelists who are going to be here to tell you about their experience at Johnson University and answer all of your questions. Yes, so if Morgan and Christian can um, make themselves present. Um, uh, yes, Lauren and I uh, actually both graduated from Johnson, but uh, it's been about five years. And so um, things a little bit different. And while we loved our time at Johnson, we'd rather you hear the perspective from current students. So uh, Morgan and Christian, uh, can you introduce yourselves? Who are you? What's your major? Uh, what year are you? Uh, all that fun stuff. Maybe a fun fact about you. Christian, you can go first. Okay, great. Yeah, my name is Christian. Uh, I'm a rising senior at Johnson. My major is preaching and church leadership. And a fun fact about me uh, is I can do handstands for a pretty, pretty long time. Um, so that's fun. <laughs> he can. He, he likes to show that off every once in a while. I've seen him do it. How long is a pretty long time? Um, I don't know. I haven't done it in a little bit. Like probably minutes? like, yeah, yeah, probably like a minute. <laughs> That's cool. I'd make it happen. What's your What's your major at Johnson? Preaching and church leadership. You may have said that, but yeah, thank you for repeating it. Awesome. Uh, Morgan, where are you at? Hello. Um, my name is Morgan Cast. I am a senior at Johnson. Um. My major is intercultural studies, and I have a concentration in missions. Um, a fun fact, was that the other question? Yeah. Oh gosh, I'm bad at fun facts. Um, I guess something really weird about me is that I only wear one contact. Um, I always have. <laughs> like my right eye has perfect vision and my left eye has very bad vision. So in my glasses, it's like, prescription and then just glass so that's kind of like weird that is a very rare thing <laughs> um i'm in the student government association yeah <laughs> those are your fun facts um which is a good kind of segue into the next question i want to throw out there we got to hear a lot about johnson um you know kind of you know statistic about numbers majors and all that uh but from your perspective i'll throw it to christian first uh what do you love about johnson being a student at johnson Ooh, I, I love a lot about Johnson. I mean, not to be like cliche or anything like that. Um, I definitely really like the, the community um, and, and everything like that. Like I'm able to just walk down my, my hallway and knock on a couple of doors and be like, hey guys, y'all trying to go to Taco Bell? And like, yeah, we'll, we'll go to Taco Bell. Um, just being able to like hang out and to be open and to be, uh, to, to have opportunities to engage with the students on a regular basis, I think is probably my favorite aspect of going to school with Johnson. Yeah, what are some of, some things that you're involved in in Johnson. Uh, yeah, for me, so I am also in our student government association. I am the vice president elect for this upcoming school year. I also am a presidential ambassador, meaning I get to serve uh, on campus in various capacities when we have different events and things like that. I also have two work study positions, one where I help to plan and coordinate events with, with Ryan, and then another one where I get to engage with prospective congregational ministry students from the, our congregational ministry office. Um, last year, I did play soccer on our varsity team, but this year I was just playing intramurals and things like that uh, to, to kind of free up some time. And so, yeah, that's what I'm in on campus. Awesome. So, Morgan, same question. What do you love about Johnson? Why do you love Johnson? And what are you involved in? Um, I mean, like Christian said, I love Johnson, like with my whole heart, basically. Um, but I think one of my favorite aspects is the dorm life at Johnson. Um, just because you have two RAs on each hall and they always plan like really fun hall outings a couple times each semester, maybe even like once a month. And then each week we have um, hall devotionals that either our RAs lead or other um, girls or guys on the hall will lead. And it's just really cool. We also have men and women's worship once a month. And so we get to come together as a whole dorm or as a whole Johnson campus community um, and worship. So there's just like really cool opportunities just to kind of build um, those really unique and, and deep intentional relationships with people. Um, and so that's probably one of my favorite parts about campus. Um, what am I involved on on campus? <laughs> uh, 
so I'm the upcoming student body president. So I'm in S SGA, our Student Government Association. Uh, I used to do cross country um, my freshman and sophomore years. Um, I play intramural basketball. We have a women's team, so that's kind of fun. Um, I also have a work study position in the admissions office. Um, and so I help and I work with Ryan and I do things like preview day and our spring retreat, which just kind of help prospective students um, and help with recruiting and things like that. Um, so yeah. Awesome. So hopefully you have a little bit more of a picture of who we are. Um, you know, we, we clearly something that you probably heard a, a bunch about from those two answers is community, which is something that, uh, you know, we talk about a lot. Uh, but we hope as you continue to watch these videos and you engage, you'll be able to see that community fleshed out. Everything that Christian and Morgan had mentioned will be um, a video later on down the road. Uh, so kind of switching gears a little bit now that you know who we are, um, there is some logistics. You know, you're looking to go into college. Uh, you're thinking about Johnson. You're thinking about other schools. Um, regardless of what you're considering if you want to go to college, there is an admissions process. Um, and I don't think now that I'm at this point in the video that I properly introduced myself. I'm Ryan McDaniel. I work in the admissions office and I uh, plan events and I work with our summer travel teams and do a lot of the kind of recruitment for Johnson. Um, so Lauren and I both work in the admissions office and we kind of wanted to talk a little bit about what the admissions process looks like so that way you can kind of have an idea of as you're going through your senior year or you know even your junior sophomore freshman year um, you can kind of be thinking all right i'm in high school i've got to focus on this i got to focus on my life but when i get ready to start applying for college you'll i want to know what's coming down the pipeline so we kind of want to share with you a couple of um things to be thinking about and uh, what we look for and what admissions is kind of about so i'll toss it back to lauren uh for that Who is muted? Lauren, you are muted. Unmute. <laughs> okay, you can hear me now, right? Yes. Right. Yeah, so I'm gonna tell you just a little bit more about what the admissions process is like at Johnson and how we wanna help you through your college search. Um, I know we have a couple rising seniors here on this video and COVID-19 has made your college search really, really different than other people's college search. You're doing it away in a way that's never been done before. Um, you know, usually you would go visit campuses in person and meet a ton of people and talk to them in person. And, and we hope that later this year, you'll be able to come visit Johnson in person and come to a pre day, come to events. But no matter what, it's going to be looking a little different and you might decide that you don't want to go as, to as many places um, in person. So we want to provide resources for you to explore Johnson. Um, from your home. So you can start your college search and feel like you're still trying to get a really good idea of who Johnson is, um, you know, even though you can't visit in person. So, so that's why we, we started this Explore series and we hope that you um, enjoy it a lot. One thing I will mention is what should you be looking for in your college search? Um, I'll tell you a little bit about how admissions works at Johnson, but you should also just be thinking about like, how do I tell if a college is good? fit for me. So there are a few things you should be looking for. Um, do you want a private college or a public college? Or does it matter? Are you open to both? Um, how do you know which one is the better fit? Do you want a big small a big school or do you want, you know, a smaller school? Um, do you want a Christian school or, you know, a school that isn't necessarily Christian? These are all valid options. Nothing is bad, but you could just decide um, what is a better fit for you. So we hope that you can kind of start to understand a better, you know, get a better idea of who we are and, you know, and how you might fit into our campus community. Now on the practical side, our application for people who are rising seniors now, so you just finished your junior year and you're about to start your senior year, that application will open on July 1st of this year. So just about in a month and a half or so. Um, and then you'll be able to apply to start in the fall of 2021. If you have already graduated high school um, or are going to graduate very, very soon, our application is open now for fall 2020. So you can look at that. Um, 
The admissions pro process starts with an application. So the application has a bunch of demographic questions. We want to know where you're from, what high school you went to, you know, do you have a home church? Um, what is your contact information? That kind of thing is important. And then there is a place where you can put in information for a reference. We require just one reference from our students. Um, and it can be anyone who is familiar with your faith. That's what we really want to know about. So maybe you have a teacher who has been your mentor. That might be a good choice. Maybe it's a youth minister. Um, that kind of thing. So those are people that we recommend. What we don't want is a parent. So, so just don't make sure you don't put your parent there. But anyway, when you put your reference on the application, we will send that person an email for you and have them complete the reference online. So once you put that information there, you don't have to ask them for the reference because we will ask them for it for you. There is also three short answer essay questions. Um, we like to see 150 words-ish per question but we're not counting. So that's your opportunity for you to tell us who you are and what you care about. Because we want to know, you know, you're not just a number, you're not just na a name on a piece of paper, you're a person and we want to know who you are. So that's your opportunity. Those three questions are your, your place where you can tell us who you are and we can get to know you that way. Um, make sure to proofread your essays and check for grammar and punctualization and that kind of thing because that does matter. Once you fill in your app, once you complete your application, we really don't need that many more things from you. Um, one thing we need is your high school transcript. So you can contact your high school and have them send us a copy of your high school transcript electronically or in the mail. If you need email addresses or physical mailing addresses, just reach out. We'll be happy to give that information to you. If you have gone to any colleges, we need those as well. So if you're a transfer student and you have a college you've gone to, we want that transcript. Um, make sure to send those over, but your counselor will help you figure out what transcripts we need if you aren't sure. And then the last thing we need is your test scores. So you can send us your ACT or your SAT test scores. Now COVID-19 has changed a lot of things and affected all of our lives in a lot of ways. Um, but one of the ways that it's affected all of our lives is that, you know, students haven't been able to take the test in person and we're not really sure when that will happen again or, you know, is there going to be an online version or something. So we have created a test optional admissions application um, route that you can go. So if you haven't taken the ACT test again or if you haven't been able to retake the test, you can apply without your test scores. And what we ask is that you just send us two academic references and a writing sample in place of your test scores. Um, so that's something we're offering. We do have some scholarships that require test scores. So um, you might not be eligible those on the front end if you haven't taken the test, but um, you can always send us if you're able to take the test later like sometime in 2021 or um, later this year, you can send us your test scores and we can award that scholarship at any time. So you can get accepted way before, you know, you get all of the scholarships that, that you can when you are a student here at Johnson. And then we do rolling admissions, which means that as soon as we have all of those things in for your admissions file, we review your file and send you an admissions decision within two weeks. So some schools do big decision reveal days where, you know, everyone hears back from Johnson all at the same time, or from the school all at the same time, but, but that's not how we do it. Um, you will hear back from us as, um, as soon as we have all of your file items. So some of you might even get accepted to Johnson before you start your senior year, which would be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of an overview of college search, how to handle that, and what the application process looks like. Awesome. So that is, uh all the things that you'll have to be keeping in your head along with everything else. Uh, but don't stress over it too much because um, when you inquire about Johnson or you submit that uh, application, um, you'll have what we call uh, admissions counselors walking with you the whole way. They'll be able to, um, you know, you'll be able to email them and ask them specific questions. They'll get back with you. Um, so uh, yeah, that's kind of what the admissions process looks like from an overview. Um, now we kind of want to switch over back to our students. So if Christian and Morgan could um, come back in. Uh, I think sometimes, you know, applying to go to college um, and choosing a college has so many emotions tied to it. It's exciting. It's stressful. You know, you're trying to figure out all the little things, the logistics. Um, you're dreaming about what it's going to be like making that Taco Bell run at 11 
p.m. to get your um, I don't know whatever you get your cheese and bean and rice burrito whatever it is. box yeah yeah so you know it's it's so there's so many emotions so I kind of wanted to just ask um, some current students what it was like for them so Christian what was it like to go through um, your college search what were you excited about what were you stressed about what do you remember Man, I was so excited about, about college and where I was going to end up going. Uh, for me, I think it was most difficult kind of exercising that discernment of where I want to um, go and what I want to pursue. Uh, for me, I, I did it based on my major. So like, I, I knew that I was called to go into vocational ministry. And so my, my initial question was, okay, where, what school do I need to go to that I feel will best prepare me for ministry long term? Like it's not about the four years where I get to go to college. It's about what life is going to look like after that. And so there were a couple of schools that I was, I was thinking of and I was throwing around in my head, um, but I got to visit Johnson a couple of times. I got to participate in their Preach Fest competition after scholarships, and I did well in that. And uh, through that, I got to experience the community that, that I was talking about at Johnson and just all the people and, and do all the things, and I, I really loved it there. Um, and so that's kind of what led me to Johnson, but I do remember being stressed about, like, what do I want to do? Where do I want to go? Um, and kind of exercising that discernment of, what really matters? Like, does the, does the price tag of the tuition matter as much as, you know, how well the school is going to equip me and prepare me for what I want to do long term? Does the meals matter as much as the dorm life? Like, just that part for me was the most stressful aspect of kind of picking and choosing what I thought was important versus what wasn't. Yeah. Um, also, Joff, who is somewhere in the chat, if you want to bring your video in, I'll throw this question to you in a little bit, uh, but I forgot to invite him, invite him in. Um, he'll introduce himself. But uh, Morgan, uh, same question. What were you excited about? What were you stressed about? What was your, you know, college search pro process like? Um, yeah, it was, it was very interesting for me. Uh, kind of similar to Christian, I knew, like, I felt like God was asking me to pursue um, a missions degree and to become a missionary or do some type of missions. Um, and so I knew that. And I also went to a really large public high school um, like over 2,000 people. Um, and so it was kind of overwhelming for me at times. So I kind of was like leaning more towards a smaller school and obviously a private school if I wanted to get um, an education in missions and in Bible. Um, and so that was kind of my thought process. And I was between a couple of schools um, that were really similar to Johnson. Um, but one, like with Johnson, everything kind of fell into place um, just financially and just like with what I wanted to do. Um, and also, like, something that helped me make my decision um, was I'm definitely, like, an experienced learner. Um, that's how I learned, just by doing and going and seeing. Um, and so tours really, really helped me. I actually came in Tour Johnson twice because <laughs> that's how indecisive of a person I am. Um, and I toured some other schools and stuff like that. But I just knew at the end of the day it came down to it. Um, and, and that was what really helped me make my decision. So Awesome. Um... Joff, are you with us? Maybe, possibly. All right, sounds good. We'll go into our next question then. Um, why did you choose Johnson? I know, Christian, you kind of talked about, you know, what your process was like, but why did you choose Johnson? And what was your first memory when you came to Johnson? Like when you pulled onto campus, what's like some of the first things you remembered or meant something to you? Yeah, so I have a couple of memories uh, starting off at Johnson. So like I said a second ago, um, my first time on campus, I, I was, I came and I got to participate in the Preach Fest, which is like a competition for, for scholarships. Um, I did well in that and I got to speak at our spring retreat, which is another event we do for for youth groups um, that are able to come and, and hang out and to, to worship and things like that. And so that was a really cool experience uh, that kind of acclimated me, I felt like to the student body and through that experience, I kind of like felt God leading me more towards Johnson. And then after actually pulling up to campus, um, I, I came actually freshman year, a couple weeks early to participate in preseason for soccer. And so there was a lot of fun memories, um, a lot of running <laughs> that went into that. And then uh, we had Genesis weekend uh, which was just an awesome experience. Um, Sunday was the day we were supposed to do excursions for Genesis weekend and it was raining. And so my first uh, super memorable experience at Johnson was 
um, instead of doing these excursions, going cliff diving uh, with my friends um, and our RAs and things like that. And it was really fun, except I fell off a cliff and I got really hurt. Um, and so that was like my first like big thing that happened at Johnson. Uh, but through that experience, it was, it was really cool because I really got to see the community at Johnson like gather around me and, and pray for me and support me and love on me in ways that I thought was like just just so cool to see, especially from like this first weekend in college when these people didn't even like know me that well. Um, and so that was a really cool experience. Um, I wouldn't wish it on anyone, but it was really cool to, to see God move in and through the people and the community at Johnson through that. Morgan, same question. Um, yeah, I think uh, I chose Johnson because it fit with my major. Um, and once I got to come on campus and meet with like the Dean of Intercultural Studies and um, just meet a bunch of different people and see the campus, I could really like see myself there. Um, and so that was just something I, I could easily picture myself there more than any other place. Um, and just kind of had this pull and draw to Johnson. Um, and it's worked out for me. I've had a great experience. Um, one of the first memories I have, I also came early for preseason for cross country. Um, I don't remember a lot of that. I don't know if I just blocked it out because it was like 90 degrees and we were running like three times a day. But one of my like first and favorite memories I have was also on Genesis weekend. Um, and it was like the first day where everyone meets each other. Um, but afterwards, a bunch of us just like um, jumped in a bunch of different cars and we went to Sonic. And those were some of the people I still talk to today um, and have really good relationships with. So it's just kind of funny just to like remember almost four years ago now um but those people I still talk to and hang out and yeah it's just really good memories to have so yeah um a little bit of context uh Genesis weekend for Johnson University is our move-in weekend um it's kind of our orientation process there's uh, another event called the Royal Welcome um that happens over the summer that is about orientation and then we have our Genesis weekend which is move-in weekend where we have some more orientation stuff. We have some fun stuff. SGA uh, has this glow stick event that they typically do. Um, they do some games. We had a color war last year. Uh, had a big cookout. So uh, it's kind of just like a fun way to kick off your college experience. On Sunday, we do excursions, which, which is where Christian got hurt. And uh, to be fair, I did cancel all the excursions and told everyone to go downtown, um, I do believe. Uh, but they went rock hopping anyway or whatever they did. Um, so, uh, anyway, that's kind of what Genesis Weekend is. Now, I kind of want to throw it out to you guys. Does anyone have any questions for me, for any of um, the students that you heard from about, or from Lauren? Um, any questions about the admissions process or, um, yeah, about the admissions process or, or Johnson in general? I actually have a question for Morgan. Um, you had mentioned, Morgan, about uh, being in uh, SGA. Are there any other um, organizations on campus outside of Student Government Association to be a part of? Yeah, for sure. Um, so Student Government Association, it's kind of an umbrella over all of the clubs and organizations on campus. Now, athletics is separate from that. We don't have a pull over that or anything. Um, but we do have over clubs and organizations. So we help with budget and we help them plan events and things like that. Um, so we have Student Government Association, like I said, uh, which is awesome. We get to plan events and advocate for students. Um, and we kind of want to be the plug to help you guys find your place on campus. Um, we have FCA, which is Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Uh, we have SPSU, which is Students Promoting Social Unity. Um, and so like even one of the things that they do every year is in January, they partnered with SGA and we got to do a Martin Luther King Jr. walk um, downtown, things like that. Uh, we have Harvesters, which is a missions club. Um, and so each year they're in charge of picking a chapel offering recipient. We collect offering in chapel um, and they go and that kind of helps them support raise. Uh, this past year we had, I think four or five Johnson alum that we got to support, which was really cool. Um, and then we have IJM, which is International Justice Mission. I don't think we had that this past year, um, but hopefully we can start that up. And we have International Student Association. So we actually do have a lot, a large population of people, um, international students or students who are from different countries but came to the States. Um, and so they just kind of get to hang out, plan events, or just have those conversations about what it's like 
um, to go and be a student internationally at a um, college at a private institute. Um, and then our newest club is our psychology club. And so they do a lot to spread awareness and provide resources for mental and like emotional health. So those are all the clubs and organizations that we have of, as of right now. That is a lot. That's awesome. So there's plenty of ways to get involved. And if there's a gap missing and you're like, you need to have this in this club, guess what? You can start it up and SGA can help you um, figure that out. Um, if you have any questions, throw them into the chat or um, you, if you're feeling bold, you can ask them uh, via video if you're good. I have a question for Christian and Morgan, whoever wants to take it. Can you tell us more about chapel, um, about what chapel is like and um, how it impacts your formation as a Christian while you're at Johnson? I think uh, yeah, I can take that one. <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, so chapel, we have, we have chapel twice a week um, in, in community, that's on Tuesday and Thursday mornings at, at nine o'clock. Um, Tuesdays is when we come in, this is, this is where you have like your more traditional worship service. So we'll come in, uh, we'll have worship and we'll have a message usually done by a guest speaker or even a student. We'll have uh, five senior sermons throughout the duration of the year where seniors are able to present messages um, and we'll, we'll pray together and then we will, we will convene and we'll go to class. On Thursday, we have like a practice chapel where we are able to apply and to practice these different spiritual disciplines or do activities based on the topic of the week uh, that we're going through. So for example, um, we might be doing a week on anxiety or something like that. And on Thursday, we can like pass out cards or, or, or get in groups and pray together about specific things that we are anxious about as, as individuals, um, which is really cool. And we'll, we'll try to do something different like that every week. Wednesdays um, is typically when we have our chapel groups as well, Wednesdays at nine. Um, some chapel groups will meet at different times, but, but for the most part, you'll, you'll have a chapel group um, on Wednesday mornings at nine o'clock. We are able to go uh, kind of based on your interest um, where, uh, where you, where you want to go. And so there's, there's different chapel groups. There's like FCA. Um, there's one that watches the Andy Griffith show. There's like men's small groups, women's small groups, community groups, accountability groups, all types of different groups that you can um, you will be informed of at the beginning of your school year where you will get to choose which one you want to start attending beginning your second semester because your first semester everyone's going to be in freshman chapel uh, which is where they gather the freshmen uh, for those Wednesday morning chapel groups um, but as far as how being a part of chapel has impacted my spiritual formation um, it has done so to a great extent um, freshman year there were there were a couple times where I definitely took advantage of um, the, the chapel and I would like like, I don't know, maybe even like fall asleep on days I didn't sleep the well the night before. Uh, but especially these last two years, I definitely realized that it, it can be such a benefit to your spiritual life if you let it. Um, if you really lean into what Johnson is doing and, and who's coming to speak and what they're teaching about and just, just lean into what is going on. I think it can really benefit your spiritual life. Uh, me personally, I'm also on the chapel leadership team. Uh, so we have a group of students that actually gets together to me uh, and, to, and to plan these chapels. And we, we try to think of how to best engage the student body in ways that are practical and applicable to them and their lives where they're at. And so being a part of that process has also been really beneficial for me, um, being able to engage in that way and to kind of be involved in the decision-making process uh, for, for how we do chapel at Johnson. And so, yeah, I, I really enjoy it. And I think it's definitely presented a great benefit to my spiritual life personally. Morgan, do you have anything to add to that? Uh, yeah, just something to add is that most of the groups that I just mentioned, um, I think Christian mentioned this a little bit, but um, most of the organizations and clubs actually count as chapel groups, which is kind of cool. So you can be a part of something that you're passionate about um, and have that count as a small group for you. Awesome. Um, any more questions? You can raise your hand in the chat. You can type it in. Um, as I'm waiting to see if there are any more questions, I have to do this. I don't feel like I had a fair go at which is better, cats or dogs. So I'm relaunching the poll. I'm giving everyone a second chance to vote the correct way. So cats or dogs, as you're thinking of your other questions. 
And they can be silly questions like, Christian, how did you hurt yourself? Was it your own fault? Was it someone else's fault? Or was it actually just your fault? <laughs> I actually have a question. Yes. Uh, for Lauren. Hello, I'm here. You said for registration that we would need a letter um, and that you could have like your youth minister write it mm -hmm. and that you can't have your parents write it. Mm -hmm. My dad has been my youth minister my whole okay. life. Yes. <laughs> kind of we have a lot of students who are PKs, so <laughs> you're not the only one that's had that problem. Um, I would recommend having um, another youth leader fill out the reference for you. So it's okay if it's not your youth minister. It doesn't have to be, you know, someone who's a minister, but just someone else who is familiar with your faith and your um, your journey in your faith would be a great choice. So maybe you have a small group leader at church or just another adult that you've gotten to know. Um, it could be a teacher too, you know, that's fine. But okay. yeah, it's okay if it's not your minister, but but we would prefer someone who isn't your parent, so. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Um, and we will send you guys out a link to the application as soon as it opens for our um, rising seniors. So, so you can be the very first to apply. Yeah, I believe my high school history teacher did my reference, if I remember correctly. Mine did too. Awesome. Okay. He said he said nicer things about me than my parents probably would have. Uh, so <laughs> it all worked out in the end. Um, yeah, the only reason you know uh, we don't like parents giving their uh, input is because they're, of course they're going to say the greatest things about you, and of course they're probably all true. But you know, uh, just due diligence. So. You'll also need a lot of references in your life for other things like jobs. Mm -hmm. So it's great practice to learn, you know, who makes a good reference whenever you need a reference in your life. And the answer usually isn't your parent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, they also know too much about you. Um, yeah. That was a really good question. Uh, mm -hmm. Any other questions, comments, concerns? I'm not even going to end the poll because uh, dogs are winning and it's not worth it. Um, we all know and deep down in our hearts that cats are better than dogs. There's a question in the chat, Ryan. Yes, for, uh, the, for the president, Morgan. Uh, what has been the biggest change in your character since attending Johnson? Ooh, hitting deep with the question. Wow. <laughs> your character. Um, that is a really hard question. Um, to be honest, I feel like my personality hasn't changed a lot because I'm kind of just who I am, always been that way, um, which is a good thing, I think. But yeah, I definitely think like character wise, I think um, one of the biggest things is, is, and this might be kind of like a big word, but like spiritual formation, um, just understanding that if I actually do want to grow deeper in my faith and do actually want to be a person that can impact people, um, it has to start with me and God and it has to start with me actually being a disciplined person to say like okay <laughs> um, I can't do this all on my own or actually like is this true what does God have to say about this or listening to his voice over um, what other people are saying I should do or who I should be um, if that makes sense and so I think that's a big change of character I guess is um, I think before I went to Johnson I would have been like what do my friends think I should do about this first rather than like turning to God? Um, and I think something cool with at Johnson is the relationships I've built. People are always going to point me back to Christ first. Um, the friends that I have are going to point me back to Christ first uh, before, you know, reaching out to other people and caring about their opinions more, if that makes sense. That's good stuff. Christian? Uh, for me, I'm kind of in the same boat as Morgan as I, I don't feel like my personality per se has changed, changed a whole lot. Like I feel I've been um, pretty much the same, um, but I've definitely found, or like, I don't know, I guess, I guess college is a time of like self-revelation. And so I've learned like things about me recently that I didn't maybe know before. Um, for example, uh, I was talking with my friends the other day about how like, Okay, I'm about to get personal. So I have like a lot of friends um, at Johnson and I love that the community has been really cool. Um, but a lot of those friendships aren't super like, like, like deep, like they're, they're kind of like surface level. And I, I was, was talking to this friend and I was like, yeah, I, I don't know how to like, 
you know, like better that. Um, and so they talked to me about um, something they had heard in a sermon once about this, this, this option where you have, uh, you, can, you can love wide or, or you can love deep. And nothing's, nothing's wrong with, with either of the, those ways. But through that conversation, um, I learned that, like, I like to love wide. I, I love, um, like, a, a multitude of people, and, like, that's okay. And so I think just learning stuff like that about who you are and, and who God has made you to be, um, I think is really beneficial and has allowed me to kind of come into my own uh, uh, to, to, to an extent and to really just, like, kind of take hold of who I am, um, which I think has been really cool. And I think that's, that's a pretty common thing that you're going to experience like, at college, really, no matter where you go. Um, so maybe that's not as specific to Johnson as you, as you would like, but I just think that's that aspect of, of my personal growth has been really cool that Johnson's helped me to, to really lean into. Awesome. Anyone else have any other questions, comments, concerns? I will reiterate that Christian is, and Morgan were uh, very right. You know, yeah, you come into college and there's a lot to learn about yourself, uh, not just about class or maybe not even just about God or, you know, about history. Um, you learn a lot about yourself in the process too. So uh, good question. Very um, unique way of looking at it. Well, if we don't have any more questions, I'll provide some uh, closing thoughts and, and all of that good stuff. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, and oh, no, a question. Not oh, no, a question. Oh, yes, a question. Um, how hard or different was your freshman year? Ooh, ooh, I actually do want to hear the answer to this. Morgan, how hard was your freshman year? Um. I guess I can approach it from different aspects. Uh, so I actually moved um, two weeks before I came onto campus at Johnson. Um, and so that adjustment, that transition looked a little bit different for me than a lot of other freshmen um, because they're usually coming from home or a place that they've known for a long time. Um, so for, even though that was like harder for me um, at some times or just like being homesick or wanting to know like how my family was doing, um, Johnson really became a home for me. Um, because like when I would go home to visit my family, it, like it wouldn't be home, you know what I mean? Um, and so Johnson really became like a family. Um, School-wise, uh, I felt like pretty prepared for Johnson and the classes and things like that, and professors um, always like work with you if you have some kind of circumstance or um, are just really struggling in the class for some reason. So as long as you are good at communicating to them with that, um, you know, classes are pretty manageable, at least for, for my major, for me, my freshman year was pretty manageable. Um, but yeah, I think, I think just the adjustment initially for me was the hardest part. Um, and then after that, you just have to be willing to open yourself up, open your door, um, join something, get involved, um, and you'll meet people and you'll make friends. And even if you can't remember someone's name, you can always just wave to them on the sidewalk. Like people are nice at Johnson. <laughs> They're not going to like... <laughs> be mean um and like push you off the sidewalk if you make eye contact with them or anything so don't think that um but yeah I I've had a like I said I've had a really great experience at Johnson I mean obviously it's not perfect and there are hard days but my freshman year was was pretty great got to uh, meet a lot of people and my personality is just to like always jump in and to never want to miss out and to always have fun um and so that was really something that helped me my freshman year um to meet a lot of people with like oh, you guys are going to do this, can I join you? Like, so um, you just have to kind of be willing. You don't have to be like extroverted to um, have a great experience at Johnson, but uh, you just kind of have to be willing to put yourself out there at times or just open your door and just um, join in on things that, you know, your hall will provide for you or your dorm um, or whatever, your chapel small group. So, yeah. Yeah, I would like to echo and just say that, honestly, Johnson really does make it super easy um, to kind of translate from high school into college, both, I think, relationally and academically. And what I mean by that is, like Morgan was saying, the people around here are so nice and, and so engaging and love to just talk to you and to begin a relationship with you and to basically invoke this sense of community that makes it really easy to form these, these long-lasting, awesome relationships. Um, and you don't have to be, I guess, a big extrovert to do that, uh, like Morgan was saying, um, because people will like come to you and they'll seek you out. 
and just having people around you who are that intentional about loving on you and pursuing you, um, no matter who you are, where you come from, I think is definitely a blessing that Johnson provides its students. And then academically, uh, the, the transition academically from high school. Um, I mean, college is different, so you just have to adjust. You can't really say if it's like easier or harder because it is so different. I mean, in college, uh, you, you have time, you have time management, like you're living on the campus. Well, most students are living on the campus. Um, you're going to classes on the campus, you're eating on the campus, your friends are on the campus, like you're there all the time, like that is what you're doing. And so, you know, in high school where I would go to school until like 3 p.m., I'd go to soccer practice till like five, come home, eat dinner, do my homework, like seven, eight o'clock for like two hours and then play games or something and then go to bed. Um, it just looks so much different from being at college where I have like a two hour break in the middle of the day between classes where I can go back and take a nap. Um, I can like do my homework. I, I can do whatever. And so it's kind of on you. Um, it, it's as easy as you want to make it. You can manage your time really well and you can be really responsible. Um, but make sure you have fun too. You can have those days where you, where you skip class if you want to or where you go take that nap instead of doing your homework. Um, and having that is, is definitely a blessing as long as we are sure not to, not to take advantage of that. Um, you definitely want, don't want to do that all the time. Um, but, but yeah, I think your freshman year, uh, if you choose to come to Johnson, will definitely be one for the books. I think it'll, you'll love it. Yeah, there, so the transition, you know, looks different for um, everyone. And, you know, it's not only our professors that will work with you. Um, we have a class design for freshmen. It's kind of like a, uh, we call it, it's a freshman cornerstone class where um, you have a staff member and a faculty member who are basically just trying to walk you through, you know, succeeding in your first semester. Um, you'll have academic advisors. Uh, you'll know your admissions counselor. You'll have friends in the hall that you can be like, hey, I'm struggling. And then Johnson has kind of these um, amenities to help you out. We have an academic support center. Um, and people will be willing to help you with homework if you're in the same class. Um, so there's a lot of uh, differences from high school to college, um, but I do believe that Johnson does a, a very good job of helping you with that transition time, both socially and academically, like Christian and Morgan said. That was a great question, because it is very different, but not necessarily in a scary way. It's pretty fun when you have that first week on, uh, on your own and you can go to bed at 1 a.m. and no one can stop you. When I was in high school, I had teachers who were always like, this is going to be so hard. Like, this is a college level class. And, and it was always really stressful. But when I actually got to college, I was like, oh, you know, like, this is manageable. You know, I have, as long as I manage my time, I can do this. It's not as stressful as some of my high school teachers made me think it might be. <laughs> yeah. And faculty members know that you're coming out of high school and you're, and they're just not going to throw you uh, in the bus, under the bus and be like, first week, you have a 20 page paper due. Like, it's not like that um, professors know and they try to work with you and help you transition um, into that uh, pace that you'll be having later on in your freshman year and sophomore years. This has been great. Um, if there are uh, no more questions, um, I think we're kind of at the place where we can wrap this up. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it's been educational. You know more about who Johnson is, uh, what we're uh, about and, um, you know, that you kind of want to tune in maybe to some more uh, Explore Series videos down the road. Um, there, are, like I said, you'll see all the topics and they may not all pertain to you and that's fine. But if you're like, oh, I'm interested in um, business, then make sure to make that business Zoom uh, meeting. Uh, if you're like, man, I really want to know what dorm life's like, make sure to be in that one. Um, we're super excited uh, that you're joining us on this journey and we hope to see um, you in future videos. All right, have a great day.